I don't know if you're ready for this. China has developed a quantum radar. China has developed a quantum radar. Yes, you heard that correctly. Here you go. I had to double check. I did a, a double take because I couldn't believe it. China has a quantum radar? What? No, can't be real. Can it? Well, according to this article right here, it is real. Very real chat. China producing world's first. That, that part I'm going to go ahead and disagree with. I'm going to go ahead and respectfully disagree that it's not the world's first quantum radar. Respectfully. Uh, China producing world's first quantum radars to track U.S. stealth jets just like the F-22. Now it says, China's reportedly started mass production of a photon detector that can help build quantum radars to track advanced stealth fighters like the F-22. Beijing claims it is the world's first low, ultra-low noise single photon detector with four channels, and its use can extend from communication to defense. Wow. Hello. Um, okay, so what have I taught you, chat? And by the way, if tell me if I start losing frames again. Whenever anybody uses the word quantum, it's just a fancy way of saying ether. It's just a fancy way of saying ether. When you see these quantum devices, presumably what they're using is some type of interferometer, probably using Joseph's injunctions, something like that. Just like with the macroscopic quantum uh, teleportation, ma macroscopic quantum tunneling. They all seem to use the same type of devices. For example, they all seem to use Joseph's injunctions and uh, they all seem to use interferometry, interferometry. So this is pretty interesting because this re this represents an elevation in technology from China. It represents an elevation technology from ballistic warfare to quantum warfare, quantum technologies. And when we talk about a quantum radar, we're talking about the thing that Trump was mentioning the other day. If you missed it, Trump mentioned the other day he said that we can detect the submarines anywhere they are. We don't ever want to even have to think about, but when somebody mentions it, that submarine started immediately thereafter. And it's just lurking, but I'm sure we're not going to have to use it. But it's uh, an amazing, it's undetectable, totally. Ours is, theirs isn't. Theirs are totally detectable. We can detect them easily. We go right to the spot. But we have uh, genius apparatus that doesn't allow to yeah i think i'm lagging here so there's trump saying that we can detect their submarines immediately wherever they are quantum radars would be what you would use for that the idea of the quantum radar is that oh it can detect the ether it can de detect ripples in the ether which means that we can go right through water we can detect submarines with this kind of device so when i see this about china with their quantum radars it, it gives me pause it gives me pause because I know China is catching up. And if they're saying this publicly, then they're saying it kind of as a warning to, to us, saying that, hey, guys, we're starting to get your quantum technologies as well. Pretty soon we'll have orbs as well. Pretty soon we'll be able to map the entire planet as well. And this is where disclosure is going to happen eventually. Disclosure will happen eventually because this technology will become ubiquitous. It will become ubiquitous. I made a post earlier today where I said that a lot of businessmen do not understand the situation with this technology. They ask the question, well, if this technology existed, why are people not using it to make a lot of money? Why aren't they using it to make a lot of money? And the answer to that is national security. The answer to that is national security, and they are using it to make a lot of money. They are. They are some of the billionaires that are connected to the CIA. that are connected to the intelligence communities and the defense contractors. They are making billions of dollars off of it, off of knowing that the technology exists and not exposing it to the world. This is what I think a lot of people don't understand. And this is where I play my favorite Elon clip because Elon is just like other rich billionaire businessmen that I have interacted with. Unless... It's completely in these weapons manufacturing corporations. I mean, I know these weapons manufacturing companies. 
like to Boeing Lockheed and Northrop. I mean, yeah, they do some interesting things, but uh, they do not have, I, there's no breakthrough that uh, they have. Imagine saying that. Imagine saying that about a company that builds thermonuclear weapons for our military. Imagine just thinking that. Thinking that, yeah, I know Boeing, Northrop, and Lockheed. They have some interesting things, but there's no breakthroughs that they have. I mean, yes, they've solved fusion through nuclear weapons, but it's not like they have breakthroughs. Like, you realize that the people developing the thermonuclear weapons are going to be the defense contractors, right? the people developing the super advanced stuff, and you think they don't have anything special? <laughs> we're, we're talking about nuclear micro reactors tonight, fuse, adutronic fusion, and we're talking about free energy lasers that are non-relativistic or that are relativistic that can produce energy levels, amplify energy levels beyond our dreams. But you don't think they've got anything special, Elon? So I'm confident they do not have a breakthrough. When you hear people if, like, if, like, why don't they just compete with SpaceX and make a better rocket? In which case, uh, the, you know, this is what a lot of people don't understand. They, they they still struggle to understand, and this is part of the reason why it's been so easy to hide the information. Everybody thinks that if you're rich, you know all the secrets. Everybody thinks that oh well, he ha he knows the president. He must know the secrets. That is wrong. That is 100% wrong. There's just, it's objectively wrong. That's not how it works. It's not how any of it works. And even just because you're a defense contractor doesn't mean you know how it works. Even the people that work for Lockheed Martin, most of them don't even know. Do you guys get it? The information is so compartmentalized that normal people that a lot of people would think should know don't simply do not know. This is part of the reason why it doesn't leak out. The people that know are never going to say, not ever, not until the, not even when they die, they're not going to say. And I know Elon Musk doesn't know, and I know there's other people like Elon Musk, people that are Elon Musk's friends, that they also don't know. Do you want to know part of the reason why they don't know? Because none of them understand science at all. This isn't me trying to be rude. This is just me telling you the absolute facts. They don't know anything about physics whatsoever. Again, it's not me being rude. I'm just telling you objectively, you here, you viewers of this live stream, know more about physics than Elon Musk does. Elon Musk doesn't care about physics. Elon Musk is a businessman. Elon Musk knows how to make a business work. He knows how to make uh, a business profitable. He knows, oh, we can add supply lines here and there. We can make this cheaper. These people do not spend their day researching alternative physics. It's not even in their mindset. It's not even a thing they consider doing. So, of course, they have no idea these things are real. They will only know these things are real when it's announced publicly or when one of their engineers develops a piece of technology and they say, here you go. And that doesn't happen because they're not doing research and development. You get it? That's the answer. They simply do not know.